to that group. I have uh, belonged to a petite group for over 30 years, but I live too far away to come to this one. But I belong to one in Porterville, and uh, I've just I've learned so much from them. More than I, I've been to all kinds of writers' group. I was an instructor for Writers Digest for over 10 years, done all kinds of writing, teaching writing, but I learned the most from my critique group. I'm not going to bring my books up here. My daughter can hold the ones up. But I have. I brought two series. I've written over 35 published books. I have two publishers. It means that I write two books a year. It's not easy. And the hardest part is not the writing of the book, but the promoting that you have to do today. What is your name? Please? Oh, I'm sorry. Marilyn Meredith or FM Meredith, depending upon which uh, which one of my series. I have a series about a Native American female resident deputy sheriff in a town similar to where I live, which is Springville, which is above Porterville. I moved the town up a thousand feet so I could have better trees and more weather. <laughs> when you're an author, you can do that. And uh, the first book that I brought here, it's not the first book in the series, but it's called Dispel the Mist, and it's about a Bigfoot type character called the hairy man that the Indians where we live, some of them have seen him. And uh, of course in my book, the, my main character, Deputy Tempe, Tempe Crabtree, has an encounter with, with uh, him. An Invisible Path is the next one, and it's kind of, there's a murder on the reservation. And I really have fun because the, when I'm selling books in our area, me and say, you're the lady that writes about us, aren't, aren't you? Well, I always tell them sort of, because I'm writing fiction. Um, the next one is Bears With Us, and it's about a bear invasion of Bear Creek. And I got the idea from my uh, grandson, who's a, a deputy up in, uh, no, he's a police officer, right? We have lots of law enforcement people in our family, and I'm sure that's why I decided I should write about them. But anyway, he's a police officer in Aspen, and uh, one fall, that's all he did was chase bears out of people's houses, and uh, I just thought it'd be fun to write about. And we do have some bears that come in down to where we live too, but it's not quite as many as what I put in that book. Raging Water is the next one, and it's about a flood in the town and a mudslide that cuts off the town from being able to really get out. and. Uh, of course there's a murderer that's uh, trapped in the same place these people are. My other series is about a <clears throat> the police department over on the coast. And my main goal when I first wrote the first book was to show how what happens in the family can affect the job and what's happening in the job can affect the family. Because I saw that with so many of the police officers that I knew. The Pittenier book she's holding up now, Angel Lost, my heroine in that story uh, is planning her wedding. She is a, pl a police officer and she is so distracted by what's going on, you know, her wedding plans that she doesn't pay attention to what is going on around her. It really causes a big problem. There's also a, uh, had a lot of fun with it because for a while we had in Porterville, in a window of a store, there was supposedly Jesus appeared. Well, in my book, it's an angel instead. But I drove by one night, and the place was so crowded with police officers trying to keep people out of the street and taking pictures of this uh, <coughs> Jesus appearance. And in my book, of course, it's an angel appearance instead because there's kind of a double thing about the angel lost. But I really had a lot of fun writing that book. And people always say, well, where do you get your ideas? They're everywhere. And it's, I like to eavesdrop. And isn't it easy today when people have cell phones and they talk so loud and you hear everything they're saying and they're talking about some romance with somebody and they're married to somebody else. And I'm going, oh boy, I could use this. <laughs> you have to be careful what you say from me because I'm, I just might put it in the book. You want to recognize it though. And No Bells, that's the latest one in the series. And I have a police officer that most of, the people that read, you know, my fans, 
they really like him. His name is Gordon Butler, and nothing goes right for that poor police officer. I mean, he really tries. He's a, a really by-the-book fellow, but for some reason, things just don't quite go the way they ought to. In this particular book, he falls in love with a woman who turns out to be the major suspect in a murder case. And he's sure she didn't do it, so he strikes out on his own to find out who really did it. And uh, I have cards over there. Anybody who is, uh, would like to ask me some questions, just pick up one of my cards. My email address is on there. Tell me where you saw me and what you want to know, and I'll be glad to answer you. <clears throat>